Hi guys, this is just a quick announcement to let you know about student equity hours. Um, I sent out a survey a little while ago asking you guys to give me your thoughts and some times that you might be available to um, partake in student equity hours and there was a link just letting you know what the program is all about. And basically, it's just to help us form relationships between students and instructors and then amongst, you know, students themselves. He always joins in um, anytime I start a video. Okay, thank you, Mark. <laughs> um, so anyway, I wanted to let you know that I'm trying something for the first time. I'm going to try to hold an online student equity hours meeting on a Saturday. I got a lot of responses from the survey that I sent out, and thank you for everybody who participated. <laughs> um, just a quick note, um, I always work outside unless it is freezing and my fingers are too stiff to type, or the weather is so bad that I just can't possibly be out in the elements. Um, and today is a challenge because of the high winds that we're having. And on that note, you'll probably notice that I extended the due dates for this week's assignment because some of you have contacted me and let me know that you are experiencing power outages. And because that's the only way that we really connect during online classes, I know that you're dependent upon reliable internet access. And so you have an extra two days to submit your initial assignment and then another two days beyond that to submit your comments on your classmates posts because this uh, this week is a discussion um, so, so you have two separate due dates um, so about the equity hours um, because I got a lot of different responses about days and times that people would be available for an online meeting I decided to try to hold one on a Saturday now I know um, a lot of people like to forget about school or work on a Saturday and compartmentalize and make that their own time um, for me I've decided to do this because you know when you love what you do your work doesn't feel like work and so I really don't mind meeting on a Saturday morning so I've scheduled one for 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Saturday um, and that is oh goodness what's the date sorry October 12th <laughs> um, so Saturday October 12th from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and uh, below this video you will see that I have invited you to a zoom conference and if you've never used zoom it's actually really easy it's even easier than Skype I think because um, Skype often has issues and problems zoom always seems to work so um, you'll see a link that will take you to the meeting and you'll have an access code and so it's really just a couple of steps to get you to the meeting and then you will see um, like spaces pop up indicating uh, who is in the meeting and you'll have to turn on your microphone and your camera on your computer and then you will be able to see everybody who's in the meeting and then an image of you will pop up and then whenever you're talking zoom sort of senses that and then it puts you as the central image it's a little bit like distracting at first but then you get used to it and um, I've had great success in the past with these online meetings they're really really um, I, I almost said fun but uh, it's not like we party the whole time we just talk about really interesting stuff and we end up making connections that we wouldn't otherwise be able to make through a typical online class. So I really hope a lot of you will participate. If you have any questions, just send me an, uh, a message in Canvas and I'll explain further if there's anything you know you need me to clear up. But uh, I would also like you to download the document that's attached to this message, uh, to this announcement if you'd like to participate. It just has a list of questions. It almost serves as a meeting agenda just to keep us on track and to give you an idea of what you might want to talk about as we go through the topics. The meetings typically take anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour and a half. I set the hard stop time at an hour and a half and you absolutely don't have to attend for the entire time if you can't. So. 
I think that's all the information that you need for now in order to participate. You do get extra credit for participating. It is three points toward any weekly assignments grade and it's just a little bit of your time and it does end up being a really great way to connect with each other. I know that um, participating in an online class is great in many ways. It's the convenience of being able to complete assignments and do your readings and do your work when, whenever you have time. Um, it's also very isolating in some ways and it can be a really great thing to connect with me and with your fellow students and realize that we're all humans on the other end of this weird internet connection but um, <laughs> it has made it, it has made lots of different learning opportunities possible I just want to make sure that you also feel a human to human connection and that's what this is all about so um, I personally hate video of myself I hate audio of myself and I think a lot of people <laughs> might feel the same way but I've gotten used to it and then it it ends up being really nice to be able to talk face to face so again all the information is underneath this video you can just click on the link it'll take you to the meeting a garbage truck has decided to drive by right now great this is the danger of working outside <laughs> beyond the gale force winds that are buffeting my outdoor studio uh, so feel free to join in I would love to meet any of you who are uh, available at that time and if you're not available Saturday morning know that I will be absolutely open to conducting future meetings on weekends or later in the evening um, just let me know and I'll see what we can arrange okay so hope to meet you face to face soon all right thank you